if you like it. By the way, that's totally fine. If you like it, it's totally fine. But like, I don't. So, fuck you. <laughs> I guess. One. Dwight Eisenhower and Helen Keller. Okay, I'd like to go back and say, um, it does not look like he's getting his soul sucked out by a crone. I'd like to go back and say that it looks like they're having a touching moment. And they're both feeling inspired right now. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> the handle. You know how in like uh, all the Lovecraft stuff, H.P. Lovecraft is like a horrible writer. So he's like, um, it's so horrifying, I couldn't possibly describe it. Words have not yet been invented that could possibly illuminate for you what this grotesque figure looked like. I think that's like what, my brain just would not be able to wrap my head around it. Passing the blunt to Saikuno after taking the blunt from T-Pain, I don't think I could do it, honestly. He goes, wahoo, yippee, okie dokie, oh, a magic mushroom. And to as soon as possible. My wife quit her job right after we found out we were expecting. We'd always planned this. Problem is, she's gotten really lazy. <laughs> oh, no, 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 oh. hmm. I understand. Oh, it's a seed. That's so early. Thank you. Dude, that's that's bullish. Uh, we should put it right here so it can <laughs> This name's too big. I can't handle it. <laughs> what is that? Will we ever have I done the bit yet where in every Ted Bundy documentary, they're like a disarmingly handsome man asked me if I could help him with his bag. And then they show a photo of Ted Bundy and he's like, just had a certain animal magnetism. He wasn't like other serial killers. Like he was, he was approachable. He was nice. He was a hottie. I think NL's dying because he's trying so hard not to make psycho minds. Listen, I think you're right too, but I don't think people are ready for that sort of discourse yet. I couldn't even tell this thing was charged. I think I'm I'm worried way too much about like what some 13 year old kids think of like the exact efficiency of my mind. When instead I should be worried about um just uncovering tiles like just and just playing a little bit by feel you know like when you're a good chess player you don't even have to calculate whether a move is good you just sort of get like an instinctual tingle somewhere we don't need to talk about where necessarily sips is pretty canadian but he's like ontario canadian so i go down to the fucking tim hortons and they're all out of timbits how the fuck does a tim hortons run out of timbits bud so the only fucking good thing you sell down there. If I don't know I want a coffee, if I wanted a coffee, I would have gone there. People will say shit like the reign of uh, Emperor Justinian is the first thing that happened in the modern era. Oh, really? That's modern? Shit was like a thousand years ago, dumbass. Modern? Oh, really? Herodotus is the start of modern history. Wrong. The start of modern history is when Justin Timberlake ripped off Janet Jackson's boob protector and we all saw her, her little boob sticker on national TV. I was scarred for life, man. I'm still not over it. Edit, thank you for the awards. I actually just talked to my dad and I told him about this post. Sanest Redditor just dropped. Hey, Dad, I just wanted to tell you about a post I made on Reddit this morning. Oh, really, son? That's cool. He's just making a point about me forcing my hobbies on him? I don't know. Am I the asshole? No, not in the slightest. You know what, though? Why don't you give him what he's always wanted? Why don't you, give him, why don't you take a trip to the Heinz Ketchup Museum in Allentown, Pennsylvania?
for his birthday. That's the, if he loves ketchup so much. Then why, hey, if you love ketchup so much, then why don't you go? Why don't you go to the Heinz Museum and fuck your ketchup bottle? Why don't you? Why don't you fuck your bong? You know what? I will fuck my bong. This team is not that good. In fact, I'm just gonna preemptively do one of these. Wait, guys, I was in the bathroom. My DoorDash driver came. Who took over my stream? Who took over my stream? Oh, it was Gordo here. Gordo, we could have gotten a 10 piece on that one. Oh, sorry. I'd like to apologize to the believers on that one. He's going off. Hello, hello, team. Bastion, I will keep you healed, okay? I will be your pocket healer. I will be eliminated by Firewolf T22. That was kind of unbelievable, quite frankly. I mean, I think that was like an incredible ult. That's not Bastion? What do you mean? That, that's not Big Robot? That's Bastion, man. That's Orisa? What, he's like Bastion's mom? It's okay, I still have, I have an ult getting ready. National Gallery of Canada. This is where I, I had to go to get my visa approved so I could go to Korea. So I went to the Korean consulate and I was like, hey, I'm here to get a stamp on my visa. And they're like, did you make an appointment? And I'm like, no, but I took a two hour long bus ride to get here. And they're like, okay, come back in eight hours. So I just wandered around Ottawa. I went to the National Gallery of Canada and um, there was an 18 plus zone and you had to be 18 to get in. There was like a bouncer. I was 21, I think. So I said, excuse me, I'll pass right through here. And then there's a, just a bunch of huge blown up images of a woman with cum on her face. I look at like a AAA game these days and I just get exhausted. Wake the fuck up, samurai. If you ever wanted to do the same fucking mission for 50 hours straight? Hey, what are we gonna, hey, hey. Keanu Reeves, what are we gonna do on this mission? Okay, you're going to infiltrate a, the, the cyber bank of Night City. Oh shit, it's a fucking heist. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna like hack into the mainframe or like design, we go in through the tunnels? Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna kick down the front door and shoot 70 NPCs in the head. Then you're gonna press E on top of a briefcase. You're gonna turn 180 degrees. You're gonna shoot 80 NPCs in the head until you get back to the place where you started the mission. All right, what are we gonna do after that? Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna take out a drug lab deep in the bowels of Night City. Oh, it's sick, are we gonna use like C4s? You're, you're gonna, you're... That's true, people don't know teriyaki is actually an Icelandic word. It comes from the Icelandic root word, Thor Yaki, which was Thor, of course, is Thor, the uh, the Prince of Lightning and Thunder and Love and Ragnarok, and then Yaki is the sound you make when you step through the arches of Jotunheim. And the first food that he ate was a sweet onion chicken teriyaki from Subway in Jotunheim's first Subway franchise. They loved it so much, they, they, they loved that he loved it, that they named the sandwich after him. Sweet onion chicken tor yucky. Or as we say these days, chicken teriyaki. That's how... how